Total Depravity the Movie, Parts 1 and 2. Uh. Halloween, the remake. That was a visceral, uncomfortable experience that I respect the effort of, but it's not for me. In fact, I dislike movies like this quite strongly. It's shocking in a lot of the wrong ways, seemingly a mix of trying to implement compelling thematic elements, which there are moments of, and other times just for the misery, there's way too much gratuitous nudity. The first half is unsettling, but you can't help but watch as this deranged child becomes the epitome of evil. The fact that we sympathize with this and him at times is even scarier. So I respect the effort, even if it's far too twisted for my taste. Evil should never be sympathized with. It should be nuanced. And they try. It's at least a somewhat interesting and a unique take. Maybe in poor taste. The second half of the movie plays like a really well done fan remake of the original Halloween that speeds everything up. And it's entirely too cliche with stock characters and bad acting. But it also diminishes what made the original Halloween so unique and scary. Two completely different ways to build tension. Whereas one is organic and one is manufactured with little, little cuts of Michael appearing out of nowhere killing somebody which admittedly got me. Rob Zombie is good with a camera wow it looked phenomenal most of the time when it's cinematography but the color grading makes it also sometimes feel like a fan film with a nice camera but boy tyler main is a terrifying physical presence as michael definitely the scariest and most physically imposing one i've ever seen it's just far too much in many areas begging the question as to why why such a demented story and outlook it's borderline satanic i give halloween the remake one out of five stars and that brings me to Halloween 2. Same entire set of issues of the last one, except this one goes a step further in every direction. It's still entirely brutal, unforgiving, and near demonic. There's good cinematography, but the aesthetic is ugly. The entire film seems to have been shot and edited in an episode of Psychosis. Instead of a compelling backstory, we get some admittedly interesting themes about mental health, legacy, identity, and pain. The white horse motif is super weird, but also a tad fascinating, and I respect what they were going for here and how it can provoke some really good discussions about those themes. It's just entirely lost behind the shock value of misery and torture throughout. Almost everyone is so unlikable that it hurts. Even Dr. Loomis, who I think tried to redeem himself in the end, is terrible to everyone around him, especially how he was in the first one. The dialogue is also awful. The most offensive thing is turning Michael into a rapist. That almost made me cut it off midway through. That's a step into territory that changes the entire dynamic and thematic point to his character of Michael Myers in any iteration. I'm not sure what has to fill your head to make something like this, and I wanna be careful here, but it's not good. These are well made for the most part, but the execution cannot decide between art house horror or B movie torture cliches. Instead it lands somewhere in the middle, so it feels like the drug induced nihilistic slog that it is. I can understand why some would defend it. I just feel that in my eyes, at least for me, it's irresponsible to do so. It's not that we should censor these ideas, but there's enough real life horror like this and ultimately, what do you gain from watching this? Because it's so twisted. Where's the entertainment? And mistaking that for elevating horror, I think is a huge mistake on the part of a filmmaker. I'm curious about the director's cut of the second one, but I'm not paying money for it. So I watched it for you on YouTube, both of them. I give Halloween 2, the remake, one out of five stars. I'll never watch these again. We're gonna continue to go through all the Halloween films. Some are much better than others like these. Follow me on Letterboxd, read some of my reviews on viralhair.com, and please subscribe to this channel for more content coming soon. And remember, always look for the good.